Kids, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom, and welcome to my channel. Okay, crafty friends, so if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I love to share crafts and DIY projects with you for decorating your home and living life seasonally. I also have a few organizational videos every now and then, and most of my projects include or doing projects with my favorite cutting machines like the Silhouette Cameo and the Cricut. So if you're interested in those projects, make sure you hit the red subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I do a new video. So for today's video, I'm actually very excited to make this video because I have been wanting to make it for almost two weeks now. Today, I am unboxing the brand new Silhouette Cameo 4 machine. So this machine is put out by Silhouette America and this is the Cameo 4. It has actually been on the market for about five maybe four months now and I have one that I am going to open never been opened out of the box and share it with you today and then as a second part to this video I am actually going to compare the silhouette cameo 4 with the Cricut maker so this is a follow-up portion of the video to one of my most popular videos on YouTube which is comparing the silhouette and the Cricut together so today I'm going to show you both of the latest models from both brands so that if you're new to the craft cutting machine world and you haven't bought a machine or you're looking to maybe switch brands, you can see what the differences are and what you might want in a craft cutting machine. So stick around. For now though, I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what's inside the Silhouette Cameo 4. Okay, so I have flipped my camera around and this is the Silhouette Cameo 4. I have not opened this box yet, but just to give you a little bit of history, this is my fourth Silhouette Cameo. So I am familiar with the brand and I am familiar with what most likely will come in the box. But this machine has had some updates and some newer features added to it along with some different kinds of blades. So I kind of want to share that with you and kind of see them for the first time along side with you as we open up the box. So this is the Silhouette Cameo, which is their main machine or their most used machine, I would say, on the market. And this is the latest model. Now, one of the things about this machine is if you look down here at the bottom right side, it has Bluetooth capability, which means I do not have to have my Silhouette plugged in by a USB drive onto my computer in order to use it. You still need to have it plugged in, but you can kind of be away from your machine with the Bluetooth capability to design and even cut if you want to um, on the Silhouette software. So this is the white version and it actually comes in a black option as well. I'm not sure if there's other colors, but I know that it comes in those two colors. And if you look down here at the very bottom, it actually tells you what comes in the box. So I'm telling you that now, I'm pointing that out to you because when you flip the box around to the very back, especially if you're looking at this in the store, I don't want you to be confused because you see the machine here in all of its glory and it tells you there are more cutting options than ever before. So if you look very closely, it shows you four different blades that can be used with this machine. So the first one is the auto blade, which is what comes in the box. These other three blades are able to be used with the Silhouette Cameo 4, but they are additional or a separate purchase. But what's great about these blades is that they are used for different kinds of material, which gives you more options when cutting different materials or doing different projects and crafts. So this is the rotary blade, which is a blade similar to like those hand pizza wheel blades, which I will talk about later in the comparison video portion. There's also a craft blade and then a punching tool type of blade. And these are brand new and they do different things. But what's nice about this craft blade is that it actually allows for a deeper 
cut. So that means you can cut heavier and thicker materials. So all of these are additional purchases that you can get, but what's great about it is that they work in this machine and allow for more function and more capability. So let's go ahead and open up this box. So it just has an easy, simple tab that you remove out here. And then when you open it up, I love that Silhouette has done this. I don't believe my other boxes when I've opened them have done this same thing, but it has a complete panel here that tells you all about the Silhouette Design Store. So just briefly, the silhouettedesignstore.com is a place where you can purchase already made easy for you to load into your library designs. These are designs that you don't have to come up with. They are just there for you and you can purchase them and you can have them in your library forever and they are great designs. Now, I also offer some free designs or SVG cut files that you can use with your machine on craftylifemom.com's resource library. But what I love about the design store is that if you're looking for something, you can click over in the software to the design store, purchase it, and sometimes they have sales for designs as low as 50 cents, and they go right to your library. So that's really cool how they share this with you, especially if you're new to the craft cutting machine world. They kind of have like this whole thing here just to kind of show you all about getting designs. Now, as you open it up, it tells you instantly how you can download the software to your computer. So it's very easy and simple. So if you're like one of those people who throw the directions out or off to the side, as you're opening this box, they're telling you all the cool things about the machine. And then over here, these four things are different than the four blades that I'm showing you on the back. So these are the four blades. Remember, it only comes with the one, but here it actually comes with the cases or the housing units for those four blades. So all you have to do is just buy the blade that you want to use, whether it's the rotary one or the deep cutting one. You will have the housing units, which I'm going to explain in just a moment, to use with this machine, which is amazing. So you, there's no additional um, purchases there. You already have the housing units for the blades to stick in there. All you have to do is purchase the blades. So as you open it up, one of the things, oh, my camera just fell. One of the things that I absolutely love here is they've had this in my past videos, the Silhouette User Guide, which you can download for free and you can set up and install the software. So if you're not sure about buying this machine, you can actually download the software and play around with it if it's something you're interested in purchasing to see if the software is something that is easy for you to use. And I'll kind of go into that in a little bit later detail. So when you open this up, which this might get a little hard to see, but I'll do my best. Um, it has the box here that has all of your cords in this like triangular tube thing. And it's super easy, I believe, <laughs> to open. There we go. These little pull tabs. And look at this. This is all of the um, power and connection sources that you need. So in this bag, which this is very similar to other models, it has two cords. One is the power source which is the cord that plugs into the machine. And then this connection cord, which takes it from the machine to your computer and to the wall. Or, I'm sorry, to here is the power. So this plugs into the wall and then this plugs into the machine. So technically with the Bluetooth capability, this is the only thing that you will have to plug in so that you have power running to the machine. Then in this bag here, which I'm going to move everything as we open it, is those four housing units that I told you about. So you see them here, one, two, three, four, and then the one blade. Actually, there's these are the housing units here, one, two, three, four, and then this is the one blade that you get. And I'm going to open that up just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So this machine comes with the standard blade. If you wanna get the deep cutting blade or the rotary blade, then those are an additional purchase. But this is the main blade here. 
and it has if you if you can see on the back here it has a um, magnetic strip or a metal strip here and this is like a smart blade so this machine actually does smart blades kind of like you're thinking like with the smartwatch it actually connects with the software and the machine and it tells it exactly what kind of blade is in here so these are the housing units of the machine that allow you to use other blades or your Silhouette Cameo one, two, and three pins. So like if you have the drawing pins for Silhouette or if you have the um, like a gilding pin or any other specialty pins that you're used to using in the prior models, these four housing units allow you to still use those kinds of things in this machine and it also allows you to use um, the newer blades which is the rotary blade the deep cutting blade and the punching tool blade if you will so how you use these with those blades is i'll just kind of give you a brief um, overview from what i've seen online because i have not actually used this myself but you stick the blade in here and then you close it in this casing. So what that does is now it fits the machine. So if you have any prior machines or any other thing, other tools that you wanna use, it fits the machine. And then it has that same smart technology on the back. So the machine knows, oh, okay, they're using the rotary blade or they're using the punch blade. And it knows exactly what blade is in the cutting unit. So I like how they actually give these to you, and then all you have to do is just add your blades. Then it also comes with standard in all cutting machines, just like that. It comes with a cutting mat. What's new with this one is that in previous models, it only gave you the one by one inch grid system, but now it gives you the quarter inch grid system, so you know exactly where it's going to cut your fabric or um, your vinyl or your material that you're using. So that's really cool with this because it's actually down to the quarter inch marking. So there's no more like guessing or missing on your cuts. You now have it down to a quarter inch and hopefully you can line that up just how you need to. And what I like about these mats is they are kind of super sticky. Um, so it has a pretty good grip on there for your materials, but if that's too much, then, um, you know, you can put it like a t-shirt on it and kind of get a little bit of the stickiness off of it, which I've explained in other tutorials. So I always love having a fresh mat, but it's up to you how you want to do that. All right. And then here is the USB connection. If you are not going to use the Bluetooth technology, then this is your standard USB cord that comes in there. So for now, I'm going to leave it in its packaging. Cuts, like I said, with this machine, you necessarily don't use. So now I'm going to lift it up out of here and just bear with me while I do this on camera. Hopefully I won't bump the camera, but it comes, oh, it comes packaged very secure, which is great. I love that. So in shipping, like there's no worries about anything going on or going wrong. It comes in these huge styrofoam blocks, which are amazing. And they're easy just to kind of pull off, which I'm gonna show you. You pull it off the right and the left. You can see that here. And make sure I'm on the camera here. Then there's this like styrofoam protective sheet. So you're just gonna peel that off. And super easy. I'm going to lift this up right here. And then the machine has this blue tape encoding, this like tape here, so you know to pull these off. Um, this is just part of it, the packaging, just to help protect everything while it's in ship, shipping. It's not necessary. You don't need to leave this on the machine. In fact, you want to take it off just to make sure it's all good. And then you have these little green tabs that basically peel off this protective tape and coating here. 
kind of like when you get like a, a watch that has that on there or like a smartphone, it kind of just protects it because this side here is actually the buttons on the machine. And in just a moment, I will um, plug it in so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And it's touch screen, like there's nothing, like it's not raised at all, it's all flat. And I'm gonna do this one over here. see that and then it also has it over here on the same side this flat protective covering and then there's also one at the top here so look at that so this is all brand new tape coming off and this is all protective coating so it's a pretty slick sleek looking machine so now I'm just gonna tilt it back I'm just gonna hold it because you can see there is a blue piece of tape here that's holding in this tray. And actually to show that, I'm gonna show you one of the newer features with the updated four version. So normally your top opens up and it stays up on the Silhouette Cameo 3 or prior earlier versions. This one it opens up and then it slides back. So there's no worry about like your shelf having to be a certain distance high and like having all this wasted space. If you keep it in a cabinet, you can actually just open this and it just slides right back, which is so nice. And then you have some more blue tape in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on pulling out all of this tape. There's like little styrofoam packaging in here. You can see all of that. Look how it's got it all taped down. And I love how the tape is actually a different color so that you can see every piece that needs to come off. And it has styrofoam pieces and wedges in there like this so that you know that that's not part of the machine. And I'm just gonna get down in there and take a look and see what else they need to get. Okay, there's a tab here, which I'm going to lift up. And this actually releases the tray. And the tray is not just a tray for um, holding things. It's actually a vinyl roller holder. So if you work with like long sheets of vinyl or like on a vinyl roll, it actually has the capability to hold the roll of vinyl here. So it's a two in one kind of thing. And then it sets it up so that you can put the vinyl in with the feed that matches up here so that you can run the vinyl through. Now there's a feature on the back side, which I'm gonna share with you in just a second. But before I do, I'm gonna close that back and then I'm also going to show you how this side, which I want to make sure, yeah, this side slides left and it can hold blades in here. And then, and then it slides right back. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the machine around to the back side because I want to show you a feature with the Cameo 4 and I'm gonna go ahead and close the door down just so I can lift it up and show you here. Hopefully my head's not in the way. I'm gonna take the tape off and the back and show you this cool thing which is new to the Silhouette Cameo. It is an actual um, paper cutter where you can lift this down and then hold on and make sure I'm doing it right. You can actually cut your vinyl material off the back. And when you're cutting, you can actually in the software set it to stop and not return back to front center. You can leave it fed out through the back side and then use this autumn, this cutter to slice your vinyl especially if you're using the roll of vinyl to cut it so you have a nice even cut. How cool is that? Like I, there's, I have never seen this option before on any kind of machine. So super new feature that you have there. 
um, which I think I'm going to love having. It just depends. So then you, sorry, I didn't show that. Let me show it. So then once you're, you do the cut, like you do the cut, you put this back into the housing, then you can lift it with these tabs to close the cut feature and then slide this back into place. So then it's back to feeding out through the back again. Love that feature. That is new to the Cameo 4. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in the video or plug in the machine and show you what it looks like once it is all plugged in and on. Okay. Okay guys, so I went ahead and got a plug going so that I could plug it in and show you the next part here of just setting this up. And in the earlier part I mentioned, um, if you're one of those people that kind of throw the guide away, I just wanted to share with you, this was the paperwork that was in there. And I know that this is not a lot. And some of you may be one of those people who are like, I need a getting started guide or I need a little booklet. But honestly, you really don't. It is this easy. You literally just pull it out of the box and you take all the tape off and you plug it in and you download the software and you it's super easy from there. Um, if you have questions, it has it right here. You can, re ooh, which way am I going? Register your machine and then there's customer support right there. But it is literally super easy. You don't need a lot just to get started using the Silhouette Cameo machine. Okay, so now I've plugged in the main power cord and plugged in the power source and I'm opening the lid and I still have this little piece of tape that I need to pull off. So I'm going to do that now and I didn't do it while I was on pause because I just wanted to show you um, where I needed to pull out all of the tape. So I'm doing that super easy. I just kind of got in there with my fingernail and lifted the tab of tape. There's like a little pull tab and then just took that off right there. Okay, so if you see right here, you have two housing carriages or places to put blades. And I kind of want to explain that before I turn this on. Um, blade or carriage number one will hold the main blade that your machine comes with. And it will only hold um, this blade. Carriage number two is for all the additional blades that you would buy separate, like the deep cutting one or the punching blade or the rotary blade. Those three blades that you can get separate will go into housing or carriage number two. But your regular blade, like the ratchet blade, um, your pins or your markers, all of those will go in carriage number one and you would use the housing that corresponds to that tool in that carriage. And the same goes for carriage or housing number two. So just kind of want to explain um, that you would need to make sure that you're putting the right blade into the right place, okay? Because they are smart blades, it has a smart capability. So blade number one is the blade that it comes with. I'm just gonna go ahead and insert that into the unit. And be before I do that, you see the little one here, it has a little tab. You just kind of pull that open and it's hard to probably see on camera, but it's just a like quarter of an inch that it pops out and it just kind of frees this up so that I can put the blade in there and kind of just slide it down. So it's very easy, it's very smooth. You just slide it down and then you wanna make sure that you push this tab back into place. So you hear that little click? Back into place, okay? Then you have this thing right here which has a lock button on it. These are part of the feed for the machine. You can slide that down based on these grooves. There's one here and there's one here, depending on your mat and where you need it to actually grab it at. But it actually fits between the 12 inch um, guidelines here for a 12 by 12 inch cutting mat. But if you want it to actually grip down on the material, which is like where the blue sheet 
is you can, just from my experience, you can slide these in and however you want to. So now I went ahead and pulled out the USB drive. You can actually do this um, Bluetooth capability as well to where you don't have to use this, but I'm going to just use it for right now just to demonstrate how this machine actually turns on. And then I will get into the comparison portion of the video, which I'm sure you're all waiting to see. So I'm just plugging in the power here on the sides. And then I have my computer over here to the right. I'm plugging it in. And I have my software open just so that it can read this machine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit the power button, which is right here on the right hand side. It just has a main power button, it's easy. And you can see how it's lighting up my buttons and my capabilities and my functions. So look, it's all ready to go. And you can see right here, it says Cameo and Lights, which I really like. That is super cute, I love that. And you have your buttons down here. Now this is the Bluetooth button. You can use that if you wanna go Bluetooth. And then this is the load and unload features. So if I was going to load my mat onto the machine, I would do that easily right here. You would probably, so you would need to put vinyl or some kind of material on here, but I'm just going to see how my mat loads or show you how it actually loads. And look at that, it's loaded right into the machine and it's ready to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and you can see here, you have your capabilities on the machine here. So what I'm going to do now is unload this material or unload this mat and do a comparison. Okay, so before I get into some comparisons with other machines, I just want to go over a couple of features that I just kind of played around with and I'm really excited about with the Cameo 4. And that is the Bluetooth capability. So just a few moments ago, I didn't really get into the Bluetooth capability, but what I want to share with you is that when the button is blue on your machine, that means the Bluetooth is working. So what does that mean? Well, you can have your laptop a little bit further away, not plug into the actual machine and work on your designs and then send the designs to your machine to cut if you have the um, material like loaded and ready to go or if you're like one of those people which being a crafter who crafts almost every single day, I have found myself in a situation where I'm actually videoing or filming a craft and there's all these cords like in the way and if I could just move my laptop you know, that I'm working on like out of the way, but still hit the cut button and then come back to the machine, that would be amazing. So with the Bluetooth capability, you can totally do that. And I am excited for this because I don't have to have all these cords running off my table, taking up space or getting like roped into each other. That Bluetooth capability is going to be a game changer for me. Um, so all I have to really have is the power like running down, like maybe down through my desk and onto the floor to the plug. So I don't have to worry about it at all. If you don't want the Bluetooth capability, you can just push the button blue, it'll go back to white, and now I'm off Bluetooth, and in order to cut, I do have to plug in the power cord. But like I said, the Bluetooth capability is something I am absolutely excited about. Now I also went over the carriages, the cartridge one and two, and kind of briefly went over the different housing mechanisms that hold the different blades for this. Now, if you ever get confused as to what blade goes into what housing unit, you can actually just take a peek here at your box. Remember that? Oh, I don't know if I can show you. It actually shows you right there what the different housing mechanisms are for. So if you are a prior Cameo, user, like if you've used the one, the two, or the three, and you're upgrading to the four, then the blue one is going to be the one that you're probably most familiar with using. It actually has a one on it, so you know it goes into carriage one, but you can use your pins, you remember these, that you are used to using, um, because you will need this actual housing in order to make them fit and work. And so, these are the different pins that comes with Silhouette that you can buy separately. Um, you can also use other pins or like the gilded 
pins if you have that if you use those you can um, put those into your machine here the gray one is for the knife blade which is the deep cutting blade the black one I believe is for the um, it's the regular ad adapter so for all your other types of blades that you're used to using and the craft blade which is also the white or like the very light gray um housing so like i said if you forget they're always on the lid or the panel there of your box if you're one of those people who throw away your box just cut that panel off and keep it for reference so you'll never forget um but me i personally like to keep all of my boxes just so i have them i store them up in the attic and i get them down if i need to like if i'm doing a video like this but other than that they're just kind of tucked away safely and i have them so if i ever move or um, need the box for whatever reason they're there okay so now i'm going to just move on to comparing the silhouette cameo four to the Silhouette Cameo 3. So this is the four, the latest model, and I just wanna show you a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm just gonna go ahead and power it down and unplug it so that the cords are out of the way. I just wanna give you a side-by-side -side comparison of the three to the four. Okay, so this is my three back here, this is the four. Now you can see in this overhead video it is this one actually looks taller and i believe that's because i'm at the angle of my camera so what i'm going to do is just kind of turn to the side here and show you the difference here um this way so overall in length they are pretty much the same size like they're not any different so if you were thinking oh the four is so much bigger it's really not guys it is actually um just a little bit taller but when you open up the three, look how tall it is now compared to the four. And because the four has the sliding lid mechanism on it, this machine is actually smaller when in use. So if you are looking to upgrade to the four and you're thinking, oh, it's so huge or there's this big thing now, it's really not. So that is a feature that is kind of um, something you'll wanna consider. Okay guys, so this is probably the most anticipated portion of the video that you have been waiting for. And so I'm just gonna get right into comparing the Cricut Maker to the Silhouette Cameo Four. So both of these machines are the latest machines on the market today for both the Cricut and Silhouette America brands. This is the Cricut Maker and this is the Silhouette Cameo 4. Now as you can see by physical appearance, they look very similar, um, but they do look a little bit different. So what I'm going to show with you, share with you today is basically just some of the physical comparisons and differences. And I'm gonna also talk about both of their softwares and what both of these machines can do. So let's talk about first what both of these machines can do the same. Both of these machines can cut materials such as vinyl, heat transfer and iron on vinyl, fabric, they can cut um, thicker materials like leather and thick um, vinyl or like a high millimeter type of um, medium or material. So both machines have the capabilities to do a lot of things, a lot of cutting to a lot of projects. Of course, both of these machines are paper crafting cutting machines. So if you're into card making or making like those huge giant flowers, both machines can do that as well. They all cut cardstock and regular paper as well as sticker paper. So if you're interested in making stickers for like labels on jars for your pantry or even for your planner, both of these machines will do that as well. They both have a print and cut feature where you actually print on a paper or a printer sticker type paper and then you cut out the design with this machine. So you're thinking, well, what are the differences? 
Well, as of right now, there is not a lot of differences, but there are a few that may sway you in one direction of the other. So my goal for this portion of the video is to kind of go over some of those features or what those differences can be. So let's get started with what's different. So the first thing is probably price. And I say probably because right now you can purchase both of these machines directly from the manufacturer's websites, cricket.com and silhouetteamerica.com. Both of them, considering on which machine you purchase, are almost the exact same in price. There's about a $50 difference, but there are things that come into play, like if you buy additional accessories or different software, they might actually end up being the same price. You can also buy these machines from your local craft stores and from places online such as craft um, suppliers or even Amazon. And on all of those websites, there's more than likely bundles that you can get that offer a variety of materials or additional blades and all of that that will come into play with price. But if you're looking at just the machine only, no bundle, the Cricut Maker on Cricut.com as of this video recording is priced at $349.99. The Silhouette Cameo 4 is currently priced at $299.99. So there's about a $40, $49 difference there. Not too bad. Both of them come with a basic software that allows you to do basic designs, create designs, and to do different types of projects from paper craft cutting to vinyl cutting. So there's no real big difference there other than about a $45, $40 price. Now with the Silhouette Cameo 4, you can actually upgrade your software two different times. You can upgrade to a Designer Plus or a Designer, there's a Designer and a Designer Plus edition for about another $49, which gives you a little bit more capability and a little bit more freedom with your designs. I personally upgraded to this software about a year or two into my um, use of the Silhouette Cameo brand. You don't have to, but it's always nice to have, and so I always recommend upgrading. I now use the latest upgrade version, which is the business edition of the Silhouette Cameo um, for its software capabilities because there's other tools that are unlocked and there's just more features when it comes to doing embroidery work and actually creating designs and downloading them into SVG cut files. So if I create a file from scratch in the Silhouette software, I'm actually able to not only save it as a Silhouette file, I can save it as an SVG cut file. I can then take that file if it's completely my own and sell it online or share it with others. And I can share it with others who have a Cricut. Right now you can upload SVG cut files into Cricut, but I don't believe that you can download anything new that you create in the Cricut software to your computer as an SVG cut file. It does use SVG cut files, which is great if you're getting them off the internet, such as places like Etsy, or on blogs where you can download them for free, like you can at craftylifemom.com's resource library. So, if you're just getting started, all of that about files and designing might not matter to you, but it might down the road if it's something you grow into. So my point in explaining all of that is that it's something you want to consider. When you're getting started, the basic and simple designs and putting in wording or just downloading designs from the internet is what you are most likely going to start with. But you might grow beyond in your crafting abilities, so I make note of the software changes so that you can actually notate in your head which one might be better for you. I will also say with the designer edition of the Silhouette Cameo, Silhouette Cameo 4, you're able to actually connect multiple machines together so that you can cut the same design more than once at the same time. And you're probably thinking, why would anyone want to do that? Well, if you own a t-shirt company or a sticker company, you still might be a small, small business working from home, but you might have more than one machine and cutting the same design more than once at the same time is a huge game changer when it comes to time and work in your business. If you're not planning on running a business, then that's something you may not want to consider. 
but if it's something that is gonna be coming down the road or it's a hope that you have, then the designer business edition of the Silhouette Cameo or Silhouette America brand is something you'll want to look into. Right now, I believe that the Cricut software is the only software that they have available. It's the one software and it has the same tools for everyone in Cricut. Now, you might not be able to create designs completely. Like I've known that some people have created a certain design in one type of software and then sent it to the Cricut software and then grow it or develop it from there, which is great. You can create designs in the software with the Cricut Maker and the Cricut Design Space software. And you can also get images from the internet or from the Cricut Design Store. The Silhouette Cameo Silhouette America also has a design store as well, so you're able to purchase designs from both companies. Now, one thing that I wanna go into with the Cricut Maker and the Silhouette Cameo 4 is the physical differences. For the most part, they are the same length in size, and it's about 15 inches from edge to edge. The Cricut is also about the same. So let's talk about when you open the machine. When you open the Cricut Maker, you just simply lift the tab and it opens up pretty easily. And you can see here that it has a compartment for storage. It has a tray down here that also has some storage capabilities. And it has a little groove here where you can put your iPad or you can use that for like a Bluetooth capability without having extra wires running when you don't need them. The Cricut Maker also has a double housing unit here and it has its regular power connections on the sides. It's a pretty heavy duty machine and it has a lot of weight to it. And that's, you know, something good that you wanna have in a cutting machine. Moving on to the Silhouette Cameo 4. When I go to open this machine, the lid comes up and stops and actually slides to the back. Now this is a really cool feature. This is new to the Cameo 4, um, where it slides to the back like this. Because if you put your item on a shelf where you're limited in height space, then this is probably a machine you wanna look at getting because you don't have to worry about the lid adding extra height to your thing. This actually stays the same height. Now that might not be a, you know, something that you need to worry about or you might be limited in your airspace, but I do know that some crafters who do have multi machi multiple machines who stack them, this is a game changer for them. Now on the um, Silhouette Cameo 4, you actually also have a tray that comes out and it comes out pretty far where you can actually load a roll of vinyl here so that you can have continuous cutting. And on the back without spinning the machine around, I showed this earlier in the video, it actually has a vinyl cutter that is unique to this machine that can cut it off. Both machines have Bluetooth capability, which means you can be on your laptop working and actually send your design to be cut without having to be plugged into the machine. This is really great because if you have ever done any kind of crafting at all, you usually end up spread out all over the place and an extra wire to less is less that you have to worry about getting tangled in with all of your crafting materials. So now that we've talked about the differences in some software and the price, let's talk about the blades. Both of these machines have a standard cutting blade that comes with the machine. Both of these machines offer a rotary blade, which helps cut your fabric like the manual rotary cutters. If you're familiar with any kind of fabric or sewing projects, you know the handheld rotary cutter that I'm talking about. Both of these machines have the capability to insert a tiny rotary blade that allows it to not only cut on the pizza wheel, but swivel and cut your fabric more precisely. Both of these machines also offer a deep cutting blade or a craft cut blade that allows for a deeper cut. So if you're gonna be cutting with leather or a thicker millimeter of vinyl or any other material, then the deeper knife cutting blade or the craft blade is something that you're going to want to look into adding 
with your machine. Both of those do not come with the machines in the box. They are available for separate for purchase. Then the other thing that the Silhouette Cameo offers is a punching tool or a punching blade. And this is a um, type of blade that allows you to like make a punch. So you want to know which part of your design you need to weed or pull out when it comes to creating final projects. And I can see how that would really come in handy. Both of these machines also offer pins or markings or markers where you can insert a marker or a pin into one of the housings here and you can actually draw your design versus cut it out which is a really cool capability when it comes to using these craft cutting machines so they do a lot and they give you a lot and they are priced fairly the same there's a few minor differences that might sway your decision over one or the other both of them, like I said, use a lot of variety of materials and you're really not limited when it comes to creating designs for both machines. One thing I do want to notate with the Silhouette America brand is that the word on the street is they are coming out with a wider Silhouette Cameo, a 15 inch uh, cutting area and a 20 inch carrier cutting area. Now you may think, well, why would you need that? Most home craft cutting machines are a 12 by 12 cutting mat. But if you find that in your crafting, you are growing and developing and you might need a wider space or that's something that you're interested in, then you might wanna look into the Silhouette America brand because I've heard that in the 2020 year, they will be releasing these wider cutters. Now, as far as design and features go, it is my understanding that they are going to offer all of the same features as the Silhouette Cameo 4. It's just going to be a difference in price a little bit because of the wider cutting space. But most projects out there today and most projects that you're going to design into will probably fit within a 12 by 12 space or a 12 by 24, which is a larger cutting mat that you can actually get for both cutting machines. The last thing that I want to mention is I hope whatever machine you choose, you choose the one that is right for you. And if you're still confused, look to the softwares. As of right now, I believe you can actually download both for free without having a machine. Take a look around, see what tools are available, doodle on the mats in the virtual software and see how the functionalities work. The best way that I can explain this is by using an iPhone or a Droid. Both of them will call your friends and family, both will allow you to take pictures, both will allow you to take texts, but the software is different and you have your personal preference and so do I. Same comes with these machines. I'm versed in both of them and I love having both machines. I do have a preference when it comes to certain design capabilities and that's why I recommend you check out the design software to see which one you might be able to become most familiar with. Lastly, if getting started with making your craft cutting machine is something that you are interested in, always leave your question down below. I'm happy to help. I also have a new course that's going to be coming out called Make the Cut. So regardless of whichever machine you end up with, in that course you'll be able to learn how to make different projects and make the cut for whatever design or project you're working on. If you want the information on that course once it's launched and released to be sent directly to your inbox, then all you need to do is go to craftylifemom.com and sign up to be a part of our email subscriber newsletter. It is completely free to sign up and when the information is ready on how you can get your hands on the Make the Cut course, it will be sent to you in email. I hope you guys have a great day and happy crafting. I'll see you next time.